years. God, I thought that was all right. I thought he was having a great life at home in retirement. He got beef and drama still. Wow. Yes. He's got to wow. deal with that. They've got a juror of 12, of course, with uh, 12, eight women, two sisters. He's in San Francisco, though. Sister that's black or you have two sisters related? <laughs> <laughs> what, what kind of sisters you mean? You know, I, when I hear two sisters and touch my shoulder, what do you mean? Are they related? Or they got some ethnicity going on here in the black community? What's going so, on? All right, what's his shot, though? He's, he's, in, he's in San Francisco where they love him. Okay, the jurors I just gave you, four men, and they love him in Frisco. What, what's his chances of perjury is what it's about, that he lied about taking the Jews? What do you think? I don't know. I lie too. If it's, <laughs> that's true. I don't know. I don't know. The, the real, the realization of it is that that stuff don't make you a better player. It probably makes you look better. It makes you think you're better, but it doesn't make you. I've seen people knocked out with that stuff. You know, you've been. Beat. You, you never, you never no, used it, right? Ever. No, I never used it. But I need some. <laughs> I, I, you know, but the thing is, right? Um, these are your some accusations. I don't know. I hope they're not true. But this guy, you know. We look at God, I'm, you know, we're human beings, you know, we're the only species, you know, I don't have to teach my dog to be a dog, you know, he may be domesticated, lick me, sit, get up, attack, kill, whatever, but I, I, after that's done, after the domestic stuff, you're gonna, he's back in this little hole, he's thinking like a dog. I can't, you know, right. we're the only species that have to be taught to be human beings. You know, I don't know. So where does the originally where does it stem from that he's lying? Where does lying come from? Right. You know, I don't know this stuff. But I just know yeah. it's all a game, and I'm gonna learn to play this game. Good. I'm a human being now, guys. <laughs> I understand what I was fighting. No, I wasn't. You know, I thought I was. I wasn't a human being. I was glad not to be. You know, because my objective was to hurt people and stuff, and that's what fighters do, I guess. You know, I don't I haven't done it in a long time, but um. I've learned, I've learned really to be a human being. Now, Mike, you bought a good friend. He just won the Woo! vacant IBF lightweight championship. Yeah. Like, you both the weight champ. Well, excuse me. Right, you know, they, listed, they, listed, I, they listed lightweight. They had it wrong well, you know, in the print. Yeah. So Five uh, correct me on it. So he moved up to welterweight. He's been there for a while. I'll yeah. let you introduce him. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce the four-time world boxing champion, Super Zab Julian, newly crowned IBF junior welterweight champ. Thank you. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. What's up, bro? That's five time, Mike. I well, <laughs> I never did well in math in school. <laughs> no, so, forgive me. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, that little one point means a lot. <laughs> I understand. I understand. Yeah. You know, we're going to roll for a couple of minutes. We're going to roll a couple of minutes yeah. before we break. Okay. One, yeah, one thing too, Mike, they're going to get into, uh, with Barry, they're going to get into sexual dysfunction with that mistress getting up on the stand. With the uh, shrinkage and uh, with testes and oh, everything else. Oh, she gonna say he has the um, he has the um, I don't know the residuals of steroids, yeah. and sexual problems, yeah. and all that stuff. Wow. I'm married. I can't make comments on that <laughs> stuff, but that's pretty interesting. I you know that's a good well, one. I mean, it's tough with, with Barry Bonds now and Tiger Woods, and you leave those voicemails, you fool around with your wife. And, and somebody's gonna blackmail you. And let me let me make this point too. And, and I just, was those guys before, you know. I was those yeah. guys, but it's just so you know. These are beautiful people who are just um been thrusted greatness upon them. You know what I mean? These are heroes in our community, and if you ever see um, Damon Runyon once said. Um, I don't know who it was. He was in a restaurant or else in a banquet, and um, Lucky Lindy walks in. Listen, it's a true story. And somebody said, wow, that guy's a hero. And then um, he, I think, he's cancer was born. I think he was just getting sick. And um, 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 Ryan, Dame Ryan said, you show me a hero and I'll write you a tragedy. Mm -hmm. And wow, that was just powerful. And you know, there's no doubt these guys are heroes, you know. The strong will always overpower the weak, and the smart will always overpower the strong. You know, since Greek mythology, the strong make um, baboons, bozos out of strong guys, the smarts. You know, it's from the beginning of history. Samson and all these guys, right. they make fools of us, you know. And we're just human, and we make these mistakes, and we don't even know why we do. We don't even know why we're addicted. We're, we're making mistakes in front of the world, and we can't stop because we're addicted to our personality. We, we believe that we, this is because we're insane, because we're doing the same thing over and over again, and we expect a different result.